The number 22 America's Tire Discount Tire Ford uh, for Team Penske. Uh, Joey, this is um, you know great stats here in the Xfinity Series. Uh, seven top five finish in nine Xfinity Series races here at Auto Club Speedway, um, and just outstanding racing all all day long. Maybe just talk about kick that off and just the hard battle at the end there with Kyle. Yeah, um, I vote for two races at Auto Club Speedway. <laughs> That's a I'll be the uh, first to say that. That's um, what an awesome racetrack. <laughs> so much fun. Um, you know, you can run anywhere you want. The racing's great. There's tire fall off. There's bumps. There's, there's everything here. This is the perfect racetrack. Um, you know, and, and this is, uh, <laughs> I wish we came here more often because it is the best racetrack we go to. Um, so I'm excited about racing tomorrow. Um, really mad about not winning today. <laughs> I guess is the best way to put it um such a, a fast discount tire forward today um actually qualified really good and, and obviously led a lot of laps and um we had the fastest car and we didn't win the race uh so um a lot to look back at and uh understand exactly why um you know obviously execution uh, it plays a big role in these races you know you can have the fastest car and if you don't execute you don't win and uh today we didn't execute well at all and we we're lucky to finish second all right, thank you, Joey. Uh, any questions? We'll start down here. We'll go to the front. Hey, Joey, Keith Lair, San Diego Tribune. Uh, it seemed like everything happened in the in the pits for you today. How the heck did you get up to the front each time? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I was getting practice for tomorrow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> just you know, a fast car, fast, real fast car. Um, a little bit of experience around this racetrack helps me. Um, and knowing where to go on these restarts and then just not really caring, just <laughs> hammer her down, basically put it up there on the top and uh, let her eat. And that's pretty much what I did. I um, was able to pass quite a few cars, um, get ourselves back in the lead uh, from going to the back, got back to the front, went to the back, got back to the front. Uh, and it really all came down to that last restart. And um, uh, what's his number, 23, maybe? Who took two tires? Yeah, I don't know about that move. That wasn't a good move. Um, not a, I, don't, I don't know what they're thinking, but not, maybe not the best play at the at this racetrack. And um, I knew he was going to spin him. There's no way he couldn't. Uh, not his fault. He was a sitting duck, and uh, I was a sitting duck behind him. That uh, <clears throat> lost um, too much track position on that restart um, to get too far behind Kyle. Um, if that went for that, we would have been uh, probably door to door racing across the line, bumping and banging or, or something. And we were able to catch uh, Larson their last few laps. We were definitely faster. Just uh, I needed another lap, maybe two. Go left here. Hey Kyle, uh, Tom Staller, Motorsports Shall Channel. We? Um, hindsight is twenty twenty, of course. What was going through your mind with ten laps to go right before that yellow came out? You, it looked like you had them. Oh, no, he had us. <laughs> we got lucky the caution came out. He passed me. Well, well, I'm saying before the caution, with 10 laps to go, what was going through your mind? Oh, I mean, I knew he was a little bit better than us. I think he had two or three laps newer tires than me, um, which was surprising that it continued to, to stay faster the whole run. Um, and we raced, <laughs> we raced the heck out of each other. It was a lot of fun racing with him. It was a good time. Um, and he was faster than me, and I was just trying to mix up my lanes and, and get around cars and, and uh, around lap cars and stuff like that. And uh, eventually he cleared me. Once he cleared me, he was going to drive away. Um, so once he cleared me, I said, shoot, this thing's over unless there's a caution. And, I mean, it wasn't a half a straightaway later. The caution came out. I said, all right, we're back in it. And then uh, we just weren't able to start in the front row. Sure. <laughs> Jerry Jordan, former Racing Network, kickingthetires.net. Uh, put on your cup hat real quick and talk about going to Martinsville next weekend. Your thoughts? That's a lot smaller than here. <laughs> um, Martinsville. Uh, yeah, to be honest with you, I haven't thought a whole bunch about it, but I know um, obviously it's a very tough racetrack. Um, you know, a, a lot of the race depends on uh, the temperature of the uh, outside um, and how that race plays out. <laughs> Um, so I don't really know. Typically, it's it's cold at this this race, but who knows? Um, but yeah, it's it's a fun race track. A lot of bumping and banging, <laughs> that's for sure. Anyone else from the media center? How about uh, the Terrace Press? Uh, Questions? A question for you, Joey Wolfgang Monzer from Germany Ranchport Press Agency. After this trouble in the pits, um, you came 
in a couple of laps, I think just five or six or seven laps, from nowhere back to the front. For me, it made me speechless. It looked like magic. Can you give your secret about this? Why you get so quick back to the front? More throttle and less brake. <laughs> usually, usually makes you go faster. Um, I don't know. Uh, just getting in the right line at the right time and uh, keeping the momentum. Really, that's what this uh, Xfinity racing and so anytime you go to a big two mile racetrack, it's all about mo and uh, keeping that momentum going. And we were able to, uh, I guess, keep that rolling while cars were side by side and stuff like that. We were able to keep the momentum going. We got uh, Bob. Sorry if this was asked, but okay. was it good for you and, and Kyle to have a good side-by-side -side battle and everything seemed clean? Like anytime you race against uh, someone that, that obviously um, have a, a scuffle with or whatever you want to call it um, with in the past, <coughs> it's healthy to race against each other um, in the future. And, and, you know, I thought we raced, uh, we raced the heck out of each other today and raced clean and raced for a, a win and a lead. And, um, no, there's no issues. So I think... Uh, you know, that's, that's good. You know what I mean? We, we race each other like we typically do, and that wasn't a problem. So we have one more from the uh, Terrace Press. Chris Knight, catch on Scott Calm. Joey, uh, with the tire rule in effect for tomorrow, just curious if you learned anything today that you could apply to tomorrow. With the what rule? Rule. Tire rule. The amount of tires? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's in effect every week, isn't it? Well, I just it seems like it could have had more impact tomorrow because, you know, tires seem so... Yeah, I mean, it just all here. depends on, on the amount of cautions. You know, this race we thought was going to be, um, you know, talking with, with Greg Irwin, our, our crew chief on the Xfinity side here, before the race we were trying to figure out, you know, if there's a caution in the middle of a, a segment, you know, what was or a stage, what, what was going to happen. Uh, you know, you wanted to make sure you had tires at the end of the race that you had something to race with because if that late race caution came out at the end and you didn't have any tires left, you know, you'd look like the 23. Uh, so... <laughs> So you got to make sure you have tires left at the end of the race, and that's uh, that's key when you're calling the race. So the, tomorrow there may be a, a point that, um, <clears throat> you know, depending on how cautions fall out, then you're going to have to, uh, um, you know, maybe save a set if you have to. Okay, anyone up? We got uh, one more. No, we go. Okay, Presto, Cars and Competition. Joey, I don't know if you can answer this question, but we had several car fires today, which seemed rather unusual in the Xfinity races. I haven't seen that before. Do you have any idea what would cause this many fires when the cars had a crash? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, when you crash pretty hard, usually lines break, oil lines break, and uh, <clears throat> then obviously it catches fire. <laughs> you know, uh, Oil gets on the headers or fuel lines maybe break loose. Things like that. That's usually what, what starts a fire is just the lines on the car breaking or, or motors blowing up or whatever it may be. Um, just ironic, I think. <coughs> well, thanks. Thank you, Joey, for the great show. It was awesome. And thanks for <laughs> Thank coming you. in. Thank you. Can't wait for tomorrow.